Hey guys, David Fine here from Keys Moz. Check it out. I'm in the parking lot of the place where I work and what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you guys just how easy it is to find butterfly caterpillars in a parking lot even though there's no flowers anywhere to see. Guys, we're gonna find a couple species of butterflies and show you all about their life cycle. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out our website. It's keysmoths.com. We've got all the Florida butterflies and moths of the Florida Keys listed for you there. Guys, check out this video on butterflies in the parking lot of my job. All right, guys, so here's the deal. I'm at work and there's a hedge here. And what I wanted to do is I just wanted to show you guys, this is gonna be a quick video. Uh, this is a uh, pigeon plum hedge. And it's a hedge, it's very, a plant that's very commonly used as a landscape plant here down in South Florida. And, you know, pretty red leaves, red and green leaves. But uh, right in the middle of this hedge in the parking lot of my place where I work, uh, what I found is that there's a whole bunch of Passiflora suberosa, and it is jammed inside of this hedge. And I don't know if you can see all of the suberosa, but it's the vine here that is all up in this hedge. And so passion vine, yes, that's right. It's a passion fruit. And it's got the cute little blueberries, which are actually edible. And let me see if I can find a flower for you guys so that you can see the Passiflora suberosa or passion flower. Oh, here's one. Okay, so Passiflora suberosa, it's the host plant for three of our Florida heliconids. We got the, the zebra longwing heliconius cheritonius, the uh, Gulf fertility, which is a Gralis vanillae, and of course, Dryas julia, the julia butterfly. And uh, it, this, this is the host plant, guys. This is what they feed on down here in South Florida is predominant host plant. So here's the flower, very small, white, uh, passion flower. And it's, as you can see, it's smaller than my thumbnail, but it's got all of the classic passion flower characteristics. We've got the five sepals. Uh, we've got the big, you know, stamen out in the middle there with the three uh, prong stamen and, and the crown of thorn uh, with the little filaments that come off of there. So pretty cool. Uh, now the trick is we got our plant, we got uh, our habitat, which is you know these butterflies pretty much live in habitat. Now can we find some butterflies or at least caterpillars? It's a little late in the afternoon, uh, so. We're not going to find the butterflies flying around this point. It's probably in about an hour before the sun goes down. But I'm thinking we could find some eggs and caterpillars. So the eggs, and uh, here we go. We actually got one. The eggs, Gulf fertilities, lay their eggs singly. And there you can see that yellow egg right on the new leaf right there. That, guys is a gulf fertility egg and they lay their eggs singly now zebras on the other hand lay their eggs in small clusters and here are some zebra eggs and get this thing to focus are some zebra eggs we've got one two three four five six six zebra eggs here in a little cluster and they all hatch out and the zebras are actually gregarious and they feed together uh, in a little groups until they get into third or fourth instar then they go solitude so we've got uh gulf fertilities and zebras laying eggs on the same plant and here's another cluster here of our eggs and actually we've got a little hatch there so we got a, a first instar little zebra caterpillar hatch there 
you can see them on the end of that little tendril and that's cool and so there's actually a bunch of caterpillars on this plant you can see another little zebra caterpillar right on the tendril of this plant right up on top of my finger here so now love to find some caterpillars guys so let's see if we can find some caterpillars now here's some frass so whenever you see the frass right there you know that there is probably going to be some caterpillars not too far behind so let's see if we can pull these out and find some caterpillars well guys check it look what we got here we have got zebra caterpillars guys and that's a full-grown final instar zebra caterpillar here's another one here oh that guy's gonna pupate that's awesome He's gonna be he's gonna be a pupa tomorrow guys so you know what that means we're gonna do some wacky worms videos on some hillconids and uh, we've got zebra caterpillars but what would be great is you know we've got zebra caterpillars we got first instar we got final instar caterpillars there but what would be great is we could also find some golf fertility so i know they're here and guys it's not that hard because these guys there they are gulf artillery guys super cool we got two species that are very prolifically living on this little tiny hedge with this passiflora suberosa growing right here guys the gulf artillery caterpillars this guy's probably fourth in star he's got a little bit more time to go and grow but super cool bug and um, glad it was that easy to find our bugs now the spines on these guys they look very menacing but they are not they, they don't sting too bad although their hairs are urticating and it might itch a little bit uh, if, if you were to touch these things on some of your like the soft parts of your skin it's gonna itch it urticates a little bit but it's not gonna cause very bad sting well, these guys are gonna be pupating soon, and we are definitely gonna make uh, some wacky worms videos out of these guys. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this short video on how easy it is to have some fun in South Florida. All you need are the right plants. Oh, there's a mockingbird. Anyway, all you need is the right plants, and as you can see, this is just a weed that is growing in the parking lot of the place where I work. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. I would give a thumbs up, but Oh yeah, I guess oh, there's our mockingbird friend right there on the fence. Say hi to the mockingbird, Florida State bird. This guy's really probably wants to eat my caterpillars. Get out of here. My caterpillars. <laughs> uh, but guys, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, look out for some wacky worms videos where we're going to go over the entire life cycle of the Gulf artillery and the zebra. So until next time, guys, enjoy South Florida. Take care.